listening to Star Stop 5 on Tribe TV. My name is Chinoe Chidolui, an actor and a scriptwriter. I'm going to take you on the ride on my top five Nollywood movies. So, there we go. Um, number five should be Mama's Love. Now, you can guess why I love Mama's Love. I featured in it. I, I got to play the younger version of Ibero Caro. It was wonderful. It was amazing. Aside from the fact that, you know, I got to bond with Ibero Caro, you know, having I acted with her was big for me because she has been a screen idol for me. It was wonderful. I got mad experience from it and it told a beautiful story. It's, it told the story of a mother's love with her child, you know, despite the fact that she hated the child because of all every all the experiences she had you know you know getting pregnant by rape and all of that stuff but then the bonding was strong it was quite a beautiful story number four that has to be see october one now i particularly love october one because i think kunle took it all out in the sense that i mean where we are getting there i know there's been so much debate out of the Nollywood, Hollywood factor, you know, are we doing so much? Is Nollywood trying enough? Some people even go as far as telling, oh, I, I can't sit to watch the movie. But I think Kunle Afolayo changed the status quo. The props that were used, that he went an extra mile to bring in everything to tell the Nigerian story. It was amazing. Now, when you get to watch the story, you don't even, you, you can't even have the slightest clue the background preparation that was put into it until you get to what the behind the scene only then we appreciate october one it's a beautiful story a story was, you know you know the history of nigeria in a beautiful way you know it was wonderful it was wonderful it, i'll take you down to number three number three has to be knocking on heaven's door this is why i love at this way to me I mean, that was the first time I watched Adesua to me, and it was two contrasting emotions I had for the lead characters, which was Adesua and Blossom Mojiko. I loved Adesua because she 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 played the character effortlessly. Adesua put in she put in herself into it. Adesua was it, I don't know I don't know how to explain it. If you haven't seen, you have to see to appreciate this movie. I will take you to number two. Number two has got to be. Uh, Last Flight to Abuja. I love Last Flight to Abuja so much. You know, I watched Last Flight to Abuja and I was like, how possible is it for Nollywood to take it up notch? I don't know. There's this particular part that trips me. The part that, the, the part that you know, the director, Obi Amelie, had to go as far as, you know, getting a plane to crash. Call it film trip, call it whatever. I mean, I saw that happen in a Nollywood film. It wasn't like the usual graphics and all of that. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is beautiful. The story was amazingly told. It was different. You know, it brought together the concept of different people going, traveling on a journey, you know, and then they encounter the same I don't care. I've read the criticisms. I don't care. I love Last Flight to Abuja. I will watch it over and over again. And guess what? It's still on every plane. You travel now, you still see Last Flight. That's how you know a good Nollywood movie. So that's it. And now to my number one. But before we get to number one, I'll take you down from my number five. Number five was uh, Mama's Love. Number four was October One. Number three was Knocking on Heaven's Door. Number two, Last Flight to Abuja. And my number one, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure? You sure? Okay, my number one has got to be wedding party! <laughs> oh my god, I can't explain how I'm able to watch wedding party all over and all over again and it still feels brand new. But yeah, Auntie Shola's dance was amazing. Like when you watch Auntie Shola dance, you want to stand up and even me that I'm not a dancer, even though I like to pretend like I'm one of it. But when I watch Auntie Shola, I have to stand up, I'm like, whoa, you know, the way she took it on the dance floor, I'm like, I can't, I can't just wait to tear this dance on the dance floor, sure. You know, it was, it was, it was beautiful. Every, all of the actors did fantastically well. Apart from the fact that it was star-studded, because I, I, I get to understand that star-studded movies are always over-glorified in the industry, but this was beyond it being star-studded. It was excellent. I particularly loved, if I say this again, they say this guy is obsessed with Adesua, but well, I particularly love Adesua's delivery and Zoom Kelly, and then Antishola, and then we saw Banky, and then it was Ike Chuku. It was, it was flawless. So there you go. There you have it. There's still a lot more movies in the pipeline. I mean, I'm still having 
compiling my new favorites. Maybe sometime on this same show, I'll tell you what my new favorites will be. But for now, you have my five favorites. So um, until I see you again on the show, it's still Stash Top 5 on Stripe TV. See you sometime soon. Ciao.